spectators, are you ready? Everybody loves Legos. I mean, I constantly ask who, who hasn't played with Legos and nobody answers. We have a lot of fun. We make a new family and we work together. And it's not all about winning, it's also about having the most fun you can. We are here in Mannheim, which is in Germany, Europe. <laughs> and uh, those are the first Lego League Open European Championship. And Open European Championship means that the championships are based in Europe and organized from organizers in Europe, but teams from all over the world are allowed to participate. Go Egypt! Go Egypt! about the young people. It's an educational program based on robotics and the goal is to get kids interested into science and technology and it's based on Lego Mindstorms which is a Lego robot. The FLL is a competition to teach people about teamwork and to teach people about science. It's a more enjoyable way to learn science. Besides robot design, there of course is the robot game where the kids compete and try to get most points in the match. And then there is also a research presentation and then we also look at their team values, do they work as a team and that are actually four categories that in some make the champion. In this event there are so many people, companies, non-profits, schools, universities united and we have I think 170 people from many companies but we also have a lot of volunteers who spend their time privately and come here to help to make this happen. Allein schon hier sein ist schon so phänomenal und so eine tolle Stimmung und das übergreift über alles. Das führt einfach dazu, dass man nie aufhören möchte. Man möchte immer weitermachen und wenn das Jahr vorbei ist, fängt das nächste Jahr an und es macht einfach süchtig und extrem viel Spaß dabei zu sein. Das möchte man einfach nicht verpassen. It's really great to see all these different cultures and everybody is bringing, it seems that bringing something from their home uh, here, so it's um, a little bit like a circus. Es macht ziemlich Spaß und so und man lernt was dabei und es ist halt auch freiwillig und es ist halt mal was anderes, nicht immer und es wird das Team bewertet und nicht immer nur man selbst wie in der Schule oder so. Und es macht halt auch riesen Fun so bei so einer großen Veranstaltung. I become a coach because it's fun to work with the youth and the children on technical uh, programming of robots and all that kind of stuff. And it's very fun to build a team, to really build a team. And the youth is very open for new thoughts, to bring them together and very interested in this technical understanding. The robot game is of course for many teams and spectators the highlight of the first LEGO League where in 2 minutes and 30 seconds each robot has to uh, do loads of tasks.
We are uh, very uh, fun here. It's all we meet kids from all over, from all over the world, and it's very fun. All the all the competition and all the dancing and all everything. You know, I'm always smiling running around here because I see those many nations and people from all, all over the world and uh, f having fun together and, and celebrating and, um, and not being in a competition mode really. That they, they are all having fun. I, when, I, when I saw it yesterday when they were dancing and cheering together, that's just great. And you see people from Israel, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia um, all jointly there and uh, you ask why can't that be the case also in the real world. It's just like kind of overwhelming at times and it's like so amazing to just hear all these people like speaking their own little language and then just wishing you could be a part of that. A massive round of applause and a cheer! They have all grown fantastically in technology, team building, they have developed lots of skills other than what is directly related to the robot and um, they have just grown really well. Uh, hopefully they will be the Steve Jobs or Bill Gates of the future.